Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. I do appreciate it. All right, let's get to work. So I found this great plugin. It's 100% free. It's on this French site called Code Vonk. And this plugin is called Procedural. Proc 3 Dural. So Procedural with a 3. And what this is going to do is take a noise shader and cut into an object with that noise. So it's a very, very cool plugin. Go ahead and download it here. Uh, it's free, just click on here. Make sure you hit your translate button into your language. So download that, throw it into your plugins folder, and we'll hit Cinema 4D. So go to your plugins and click on procedural. This is what we get by default. So it took me a little while to figure out all of the different parameters. So I'm just gonna walk you through the ones that are very important. Let's go ahead and start with scale. So that's going to affect the size of the noise. Let's go ahead and maybe drop that to 350. So you can see that the noise is farther apart, little bits, right? Well, we want this to be filled in, right? That is where your sampling comes in. So let's go ahead and double our sampling to 200. And you can see that we're getting a lot more detail and it's filling in all those parts. So if we hit this to 300, we're gonna get even more detail and a really cool look. Just be careful because it will slow down your computer a little bit. Also be aware that we have a view sampling and we also have a render sampling. So make sure that those are the same, otherwise it's gonna render out uh, differently than you see it in the viewport. All right, now we have our fall off. If we slide this to the right, we're gonna get something that is a little bit more organic. You can see that we're pretty slow right now. That's because of the sampling. Let's actually just drop that down to 200 again while we work. So as we go this way, it kind of makes things a little bit smoother and more organic. If we go this way, it's gonna make things chunkier and it's also going to make it into a voxel effect if you go all the way to the left with your fall off. So that's what fall off does. Uh, let's go ahead and keep it to the right to have a little bit more of an organic feel. All right, um, let's talk about size. So let's say that you like this level of detail, but you want it to be just a lot bigger. That's where size comes in. So we'll just double the size of this thing and we'll see what that looks like. Definitely takes a little bit to calculate this, but there you go. So it's gonna keep the same level of detail if we go in, but it's just gonna be a bigger chunk of it, right? Let's go ahead and undo that. And we have our little chunk again. All right, so the other thing we need to worry about is the noise, which obviously makes all these patterns. A really great resource is on this website. If we go ahead and scroll down to this image, if you click on this image, it's actually gonna bring up um, every single noise pattern that you could use as a visual guide. So this is really helpful. Go ahead and download this maybe as a reference. Really, really cool stuff. So to change the noise, we'll just go into our noise and we'll change this to something like, um, let's try this mod noise. This is gonna give you a very different look. All right, so here is something that looks a little more uh, mechanical. Let's go ahead and change the sampling to maybe 250. I'll give us a little bit more detail and then we can play around with the size or the scale again. We're gonna get something pretty cool. Now, if we drop our fall off down, we're gonna get something that looks a lot more mechanical and uh, that's a pretty cool look right there. So just by changing the noise, you're gonna get something that looks very, very different. Let's go ahead and drop down our samples just so I can show you the animation quick. If we go into our noise and let's look at this animation speed let's hit this to 0.5. And if we hit play, nothing happens and we can't see anything changing. Let's go ahead and right click on our thumbnail and hit animate. And now you can see in your thumbnail, it's moving. So you can get a kind of a reference for what speed is gonna look like. Still nothing though. So just remember to go to your procedural and check on the little animation checkbox. Now, if we hit play, you can see that we're gonna start animating. So if that's something you wanna do, just make sure you check on this animation button. So let's go ahead and change this back to something a little bit more organic quick, maybe blistered turbulence. And let's kick our slider, kick up the fall off, maybe add some more samples. So we don't just have to use this square that comes default with it. Um, you can use any object that you want. So let's go ahead and put in a sphere. Now don't turn off the big check mark but turn off the little traffic lights so it's invisible. Go to your plugin and drag the sphere into this source slot and let go. 
And now our procedural plugin is going to reference that sphere shape to make the noise. So you can basically customize this any way that you want. If you want to uh, use text, you could probably even uh, do that or any other object you want. Okay, let's say that you're done with uh, creating this. You want this to be a, a, a polygon object. All you have to do is hit C on your procedural plugin and there you go, you got yourself a polygon object that is all organic and cool and distorted. So there's a few ideas here in the gallery. You can use this for some medical type uh, tissues. You can use this for a uh, bone that looks old and weathered and destroyed, maybe some sponges. You can use this for some wear and tear on text, or you can even go and use it as a voxel effect. So really, really awesome plugin. Um, just go ahead and download it for free and make sure to thank this guy for sharing with everybody. Thank you guys for checking out the Pixel Lab, and we'll see you next time. Bye.